begging for mercy now. Watch this. Hope this hurts. Sorry. Here we go. Get serious. Try this on the side. I won't hold back. Ready for the knockout? Let's finish this! Wanna play, do we? I feel so heavy. In for the kill! Now we're talking. I'm not down. Have fun with this. Right. You there, picked the wrong Doing opponent. better than I thought. Yo! <laughs> they even brought a couple of babes for us. All right. I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. Dumbass. That he has no idea one of these babes is the queen of Komichul herself. Eh, ignorance will do you in like that. Kirusan, I don't see Sawashiro anywhere. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's the plan. We push forward until we see him in person. Anyone who gets in our way, gets taken out. Hey, what's with you people? You think you can waltz right in? Don't just fucking ignore me! You wanna get dumped in the bay? If you're gonna bring it, then bring it. Yapping with you is a waste of my time. That's it, you're dead! Show me what you got! It's my turn! Something wrong? In for the kill! How do you like this? No begging for mercy now. Wanna play, do we? Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. something aren't you people here to turn your lives around well let me guess you think you'll get a clean slate in Hawaii and all you've got to do is follow orders if that's how you see it you'll never return to society no matter how hard you try if you're serious about making a change 
Start by thinking for yourself. I don't give lectures like him. Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Comey Jewel. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Guess even Sun He cuts loose when she's mad. I see the men out front gave you no trouble. Yeah. They won't be getting up anytime soon. I take it they could use the rest. Ah, don't worry about them. Bargain Barrel thugs aren't exactly at a premium these days. What with the dissolution leaving so many ripe for the picking? Isn't your job to fix that? Or is this second dissolution of yours just a way to exploit them? After everything you've done, this was your chance to light their path. Huh. I won't deny that. You know, one of them said something rather profound. Going clean was like prison all over again. You know, people like us have no freedom. Of course, he must have had eyes on him everywhere. You never know what an ex-Yakuza will do, right? And I'm not even at the saddest part. We have nearly a hundred people working here at all times, but they only need a single supervisor, if that. What makes that possible is the structure of our warehouse. Take a look at this observation tower. It's designed so you can't see in from outside. Because of that, you never know when you're being watched. Meaning, you can never slack off. They call it a panopticon. Any idea why these were invented? To keep prisoners in line. And twisted, isn't it? These people wanted to escape the doggy -dog, dog world of a criminal. Yet what do they do? Crawl right into another form of prison. Tell me, why gather them under one roof and then ship them over to Hawaii? To rehabilitate them, of course. Is that the only thing Ebina said? If he hasn't let you in on anything else by now, don't get surprised when he casts you aside. You may want to mind your words. These four are some of the Seriu clan's strongest. And they don't take kindly to insults, especially when it comes to Ebinasan. They also won't hesitate to kill, whether they've been given clearance or not. Pretty bold for Yakuza in this day and age. Then again, I've seen plenty like that in my time. They have all come and gone. Now, you want to know what real strength is? Now let my fists do the talking! Don't see that every day. Probably not all he's got up his sleeve. But stay on our toes. What's the hold up? Okay. Have fun with this. Hope this hurts. Right. Try this on the side. No. Follow my lead.
I'm humbled you will trust you. May I raise a glass to you? I'm you. Start the night off. Your face is enchanting. Hey, where are you? Let's spend the whole night together. Oh my. Go, you, go, 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 I won't hold back. Ready for the knockout? I'm on a roll. Let's go. Try to block this. What's it gonna be? No begging for mercy now. Yeah, give him hell. Yeah, double the trouble. Double the flame. Regret this. All right, let's finish it together. We only need one Naturally. shot. Right. you're not all show. Now then, let's wrap this up. Well, he's what's back to basics. Wonder what's next. Got a bad feeling about this. Stay on your guard. I'm on a roll. Let's go. In for the kill. How do you like this? You do something. Try this on your side. <gasps> No way to fight. Yeah. Hardly a fair Did you really fight. think you'd win? Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. Whew. We should Strong. relish this moment. We beat Sawashiro. Way to go, Kiryu-san. You need to get me out of here. I can't speak freely around them. Hey, hey, let go! What do you think you're doing? That's a good idea. <laughs> Not much of a choice here. Meet up at Ichi's place after. Huh? Wait, Kiryu-san, seriously? What'd you do that for? We're done here. Next up is Ebina. Guy's just full of surprises, isn't he? 
Ah, tell me about it. But I'll admit, hearing Sawashiro scream as he plummeted into the sea? Priceless. Sure didn't see that coming. Ah, uh, now it all adds up. So Sawashiro wanted to get tossed in the ocean. Yeah. We made plans to meet up at Kasuga's place. Does this mean we're trusting him after all? Depends on how our conversation goes. Now, I imagine he'll want to keep a low profile. Maybe we'll get to see him in disguise. Oh, this is gonna be good. Shiro, you should see yourself right now. I'd appreciate you sticking to the point. I'm not man of time, you know. All right. But first, we need to know where you stand. Who is Ebina to you? The visionary responsible for the Second Great Dissolution. And a man after Masumi Arakawa's own heart. We thought the same at first. But in light of his recent behavior, I'm sure you've noticed something's up by now. Yeah. The second dissolution's just a smokescreen. A shiny ad to pull in fresh recruits. But I found that out too late. After sending Ichi to Hawaii. Gee, isn't the timing convenient? It does sound that way. But if it was a lie... I'd expect something a bit more convincing. He has a point? Look at that. Your slimy reputation precedes you. And it's in your favor. Let's talk about Kasuga in Hawaii. He's there to lure out Akane-san, isn't he? And it was Ebina who proposed that. Likely to curry favor with Bryce. Sound right? Right on the money. If that's the case, why are you still working with him? You had to have known. The hell Akane-san's going through, dodging death at every turn. Isn't she the woman your boss loved? Yeah, but don't forget, Ichi's over there. As long as he's in Hawaii, Akane-san's in good hands. Placing your bets on Kasuga-kun, are we? Sounds like you trust him. <sighs> Something like that. But with him on the job, I can focus on the real work I gotta do. Real work? <laughs> and that would be... Putting Ebina's fake plan into action. I'm gonna see the second great dissolution through. Huh? But if I have any hope of doing that, I need to know Ebina's true motive. Motive for what? The waste management business he's running with Polycana. It has something to do with nuclear reactors. Specifically, the waste these reactors pump out. What? Nuclear waste? As in, from power plants? Yeah. On one end, there's spent fuel rods, which can still be repurposed and weaponized. Without strict protocols in place, they could easily fall into the wrong hands. On the other end, there's dirt, water, concrete, equipment and what have you that end up getting contaminated. These are considered low-level radioactive waste, 
And while they're not as deadly, there's a lot of it. And with Japan dragging its heels in the decommissioning process, we're left with mountains of waste that'll remain toxic for centuries. The best they can do is silo it off in temporary storage facilities and hope a solution arises in the future. Oh yeah, I hear about that on the news every now and again. No matter where they try to build these facilities, the locals always fight against it. That's precisely what Polycana honed in on. For over 20 years, they've been stashing nuclear waste from around the globe on their private island. You know it as. Nelly Island, right? According to Polycana, that's paradise. A reward for only the chosen. Yeah. Real fitting, isn't it? Using sacred ground to hide away toxic waste. Bryce has a real sense of humor. Also, the fee they charge for processing the waste isn't cheap. And I'm sure Ebina gets a nice cut. But beyond that, I still don't know where all our ex-Yakuza factor in. My guess is they're needed for loading and transport. So that's it then. Ebina's yet another money-hungry maniac. Now, I know I shouldn't say this, but hear me out for a second. If Palakana's willing to bear the brunt of Japan's nuclear waste problem, in spite of all the issues, isn't it a win for the country? From what I understand, each country's responsible for its own nuclear waste. How does Ebina plan on going around the law? Well, he won't have to if they loosen regulations. Politicians, bureaucrats, and investors are all waiting to jumpstart the nuclear industry in Japan. And to keep the money flowing, they'd build even more reactors if they could. Naturally, they'd also welcome any waste disposal method that seems convenient. So if one day you hear the TV saying how the government wants to ship its waste offshore, that means they've already started trying to sway public opinion. And eventually, a change in legislation will follow. Wow, that's... Insane, right? There's a chance Ebina and Palikana could legally be in the clear. Hmm. If only it weren't the Yakuza and a cult, I might have just took it and shrugged. Sorry if this sounds biased, but there has to be an ulterior motive somewhere. There absolutely is. In other words, you're sticking with Ebina to figure out that motive. Yes. You say that? But did you really need to blow Kiryu-san's cover? You know, on the Tatara channel? I merely read the script I was given. Huh. All right. It's true that for Ebina, the second dissolution might just be a means to an end. However, if Masumi Arakawa were alive, this is something he would have wanted. And if whatever Ebina's planning would subvert that, I'll bring him down from the very foundation. I see. When that time comes, I would hope to have the Dragon of Dojima's support. That's why I went through all this to speak with you. How could the Great Dissolution we forged with the Tojo Clan and the Omi Alliance crumble like this? People put their lives on the line to open up a path for the future. But all it took was four years to fail. Oh, Kiryu-san. Guess your plans weren't so airtight. As a country, Japan's not exactly kind to those who make mistakes. Far from it, actually. So yeah, these ex-Yakuza had nowhere to turn but Ebina. Getting back on their feet wasn't an option. No, something's not right. It shouldn't have been like this. This wasn't the plan they told me about. And we all believed in. Sorry, who are they? The leaders of the Great Dissolution. Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, along with Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima.
You've made a wise decision, gentlemen. Be it poison of the soul or the soil, trust that Palakana's fires will purify. Let it cleanse your sins and your refuse. You are all now members of my family. In due time, the leaders of your country will unveil a new energy initiative. Finally, your great nuclear reactors will come to life again, enriching us all. Truly, those fortunate enough to be gathered here will be made prosperous, will be made fat with wealth. We are in your debt, my generous sage. On behalf of all citizens of Japan, thank you for cleansing our nation. I've spoken to the minister. We're clear to begin reopening the power plants. My humblest gratitude. If I may be so bold, you are a ray of silver light that has shone upon our burdened economy. In so many words, a savior. Let us not forget our silent partner, Ebina-san. We owe this day to you as well. You deserve far more glory than we can offer. Indeed. You've done a great deal for us, Ebina-san. You honor me, Chairman. Once my organization is restructured, I look forward to sharing the public eye with you. Till then, I graciously accept your guidance, now and in the future. Apologies, gentlemen. I fear our time is up. I'm overdue for a ritual with my flock. Farewell. Good news, Overseer. What is it? We secured the girl. She's coming in on the next boat. Then am I supposed to be impressed by this? Uh... Had you settled this earlier, I wouldn't have relied on Ebina's help. If ever there comes a day when he uses this against us, it'll be your last, Dwight. They won't, I swear. You have all been chosen. Father Bryce has granted you the right of fire. Now, forsake yourself to the flames and save these lowly sinners. Keep going. Their impurities have not been fully purged. They are to be unspoiled, nothing less. You have made me very proud, my children of Palikana. Even if the world were to collapse into darkness, I'm confident your flames would light the way. You're still awake. You're no good to her exhausted, you know. <laughs> Lonnie! I'm so sorry, akane -san. It's all my fault. Ah, fucking hell. What a sorry sight. Hey! 
particularly give a shit if you run out the clock bawling like a child, but remember one thing. Kazuma Kiryu is still out there, and you've let that man down too many times already. He saw something in you. Somehow. <laughs> now get him. You're right. It's time to go. Start moving, then. You've wasted enough time. Yeah. Dachi-san, is Chichan around? Hmm? She was here a while ago. Shit. You don't think. Could she have bailed on us? Seriously? Why would she do that now? This whole time, Age has been using her to play us like suckers. Maybe she figured, now that the truth's out, we'd take revenge. But Chichan tried to warn us, didn't she? When Polycana was on their way, she came clean. She has to know she's still one of us. Well, think of it this way. If Chi-Chan had given A.G. up just a few minutes earlier, Lonnie might still be here. Anawa-san and Wong might still be alive. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kasuga, but Tomi's got a point there. How you too, Adachi-san. She must have had a good reason. Chi-Chan wouldn't cut and run. I'm sure she's still around here somewhere. Chichan? Damn it, there's no answer. Chitose, her name was? I just got a report in. She took off on her own a while ago. Chichan? Matter of fact, she swiped one of our pistols on the way out. Huh? That takes skill. My men know how to keep them under lock and key. Yamai, when did Chichan leave? Do you know? We clocked the piece missing just now. Girl must have left half an hour ago at least. I mean, what would she want a gun for? Would she be going after Lani on her own? <sighs> no way in hell. That's not what my gut's saying. She's going after them. AG and Palikana. She must know where they are. We can't let her! Chichan will get herself killed! Let's move. Now! Hey, hey, hey wait! Hold on a minute. Chichan may know where she's going, but we don't. Uh-huh. Still good to go. What you fuck? What you fuck? Get wrecked! The battle is on! Yeah! Open wide! You've done well. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Hey, he's in the ring today. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. I ain't <laughs> another one in the bag. Oh, sure, what a noise. Cool. Break yourself! 
Don't you even dare. Uh, aloha again, Auntie. Lonnie's been kidnapped. Akane-san could have been killed? Guess word travels fast, huh? <sighs> what a fool I was, trusting a bunch of blundering punks. I leave them in your care and it all goes to pot? Lord, help me! Uh, come on, it's not like that. Uh, wait, let us try to make things right. Chitose. Do you remember her? Has she been by here? <laughs> Why? She finally get fed up with you, dimwits? <sighs> Actually, I think I did see her go by a little while ago. Please say you know where she was headed. What? Do I look like a mind reader? I've no clue. And plenty of times passed since. Uh, yeah, I get it. Tose's going after A.G. Not much we can be sure of, either for payback or to rescue Lani. Either way, wherever he is, she'll be. What's that mean for us? It means if we find A.G., we're bound to run into Chitose, too. Oh, no, shit. Well, we don't have any leads on him, either. Well, it's still another way to go. It's something. What do you think, Kasuga? The Daidoji safe house, maybe? Eichan. He was there the whole time, keeping tabs on our every move. Maybe he left something we could use. Well, stands to reason. All right, let's give it a shot. The only thing, at least you're probably still working the scene. We'll just you know, keep our distance. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be the one to say it. Chichan made this group feel a lot less skeezy. Am I wrong here? You're not, no. But, uh, it's worse when you call attention to it. I need to slow down now. Does it come in my size? I need a makeover. Am I trying too hard? I got choosy tastes. to bolt from here when we did. The police sure moved fast on this one. Yeah, I'd say they've already carried out the bodies. Either way, we're not getting any closer. Ichiban, if they catch wind of you, it's over. No passport, and now no Kiryu-san or Daidoji faction to back you? Really? Are you quite sure of that? <gasps> you guys! Whoa, whoa, who's this? You know him? Perhaps you don't remember us. We served Hanawise as elite aides. During the attack, we were procuring Akane-san's plane. We had no idea what was coming. We're aware of what happened thanks to the safe house's surveillance camera. Eiji Mitomura was a Polykana operative, it seems. Uh, this seems so. 
Um, about Hanawa-san and everything. You needn't say anything. His death wasn't your fault, Kasuga-san. Mitamura played his hand well and outwitted us all. We knew that Hawaii would be unfamiliar territory, yet we came short-staffed. Our focus on Polykana left us vulnerable to certain flanks. This was a miscalculation on the part of our superiors. We'll report it as such. Well, jeez. We are fully aware that, if not for you, Akane-san would still be missing or dead. Hanawa died believing in our organization and this mission. If you say so. But it's not that easy for me to believe I wasn't partly responsible. Hope you get that. That's why I'm still involved here. Believe me, we know your psych profile. We'd like to offer you our assistance. What's that mean? Let's find a better place to speak. Eiji Mitamura is in our sights now. We've much more intelligence than before. I'd like to share our findings with your party. It should prove useful. Well, what do you have in mind? Perhaps Kiryu-san's old hotel room would serve? I trust you remember it. Our group will head there first. We shouldn't be seen traveling together. Ah, uh, they're pretty polite for a bunch of lizard people. Ottawa must have raised them right. Okay, we should go. Pissing me off. Okay, you asked for it. Let's get it done. Okay. Open wide. I bind you to this blade. You've done well. All right. Got you now. Should I open it? Sweet! I might be a natural. We've been waiting for you. Come in. I'm curious. When Kiryu-san got here, were you the ones who booked the room? Yes, we arranged it. We were aware of Kiryu-san's condition, but once again underestimated the dangers he would face. Initially, Akane-san's procurement was our sole and simple objective. Yeah, but in that case, your mission would be accomplished by now. Akane-san's at Yamai's place as we speak. You could just grab her. Indeed. Why don't you have a seat? This may take some time to explain. To put it briefly, Daidoji's plans now extend beyond Akane-san herself. Polykana's actions have illuminated certain aspects of the mission which were otherwise obscured. That is, Akane-san's charge, the girl Lani, is Polykana's true target. So Daidoji faction, Yamai's gang, it's all the same story. Excuse me? Yamai was chasing Akane-san without any idea why, just like you. All over Hawaii, people were hunting Akane-san just because they knew someone else was too. Everyone, 
desperate for a little more pull underground, or a one-up on their enemies. I understand. From your perspective, we may seem all too similar. Except, we have always known why Akane-san was sought after by Palikana. It was no mere spurious chase. What's it all about, then? This information is not to be uttered outside of this room. Palikana has... negotiated a backroom deal with our government. <laughs> oh, have they now? And so... you can do better than that. Nuclear power is returning, and as for radioactive waste involved, Palikana has offered to dispose of it. What?! We've been told Nele Island, their nerve center, possesses the facilities to see it buried. Palikana was able to coordinate this arrangement thanks to one man, Ebina, of the Seriu clan. Ebina? Seriously? Waste is the ultimate quandary for any nuclear society. Reactors can pose more harm than good because of it. Considering that, Ebina and Palikana represented a true godsend. The men at the top couldn't be happier, of course. They could restart the generators, construct new plants, even export them to smaller nations for massive profit. However, the Daidoji faction knows when something is too good to be true. We are certain there's some sort of pitfall lying in wait here. Okay, a, pit a pitfall? What, what do you mean? We're not sure. The only people who would know for certain are the ones who offered the deal. To understand Palikana's true intentions, superficial negotiations will not suffice. We have to dissect them. And the only way to manage that is with the proper bait. So they're just bait to you? Akane-san and Lani? Yes. The Daidoji faction has seen fit to share that with us, under the circumstances. Hanawa's death was... unusually blindsiding. So give it to us straight. You're Daidoji guys. You're like... actual evil masterminds. We are a shadow power in Japan. That said, the shadows aren't what they once were. So why come to Hawaii and play proxy war with Palikana? It can't just be as simple as stopping a bad deal. You misunderstand us entirely. Our interests lie solely in the prosperity of Japan. We simply place our focus on long-term planning rather than short-term profit. Palikana's waste disposal is unlikely as secure as they claim, nor worth what they'd siphon from our taxes. When the future comes, what sort of country will our children inherit? That's the question every patriot must answer honestly. Huh. Spoken like a true man in black. I've got a question. Assuming we get Lonnie back, what would be your next move? Just as before, we would escort her out of Palikana's reach. We still have our aircraft prepared. Okay. In that case, let's say that right now, our goals are the same. Keeping Akane-san and Lani from Palikana's hands. Certainly. Only one impediment. The man who betrayed us for the enemy. Yeah. Hey, John. You said before you found out more about him? Eiji Mitamura. Surprisingly, that's actually his real name. Started out as a political reporter for the Toto Post. Eichon worked at a paper? Indeed. Until his abrupt termination five years ago. After he was found guilty for vehicular assault. Some kind of hit and run? Seemingly. However, Mitamura insisted he was framed by Yakuza in his testimony. He specifically named the Arakawa family, saying they were colluding with the police commissioner. What? Apparently, he'd been on their case for some time, picking up evidence of corruption. Mitamura was good enough at his job to be considered a threat. And so, he had to be silenced. So, after another long, exhausting day on the beat, our reporter was driving home when... Suddenly, a pedestrian steps in front of his car. Eiji says it was the Arakawa family setting him up. No real proof, of course. Then the car's EDR footage was examined in court. The victim was moving erratically. Even so, there's still nothing conclusive there. And when the victim denied any connection to Arakawa, it was the final nail. Fortunately, with only minor injuries sustained, it was ruled a fairly slight driver's error. 
he got off with a fine of a few hundred thousand yen. However, his public reputation was another matter. Supposing the Arakawas really were behind the accident. Regardless of the verdict, they got what they were after the moment it happened. She said Eiji had no proof. Why do I feel like you know there's more to it? Even if the Arakawa family planned the incident, Masumi Arakawa's involvement is doubtful at best. No single reporter, however much noise they're making, would draw the patriarch's attention. That said, Joe Sawashiro is another matter entirely. We would have to admit, this seems quite like his handiwork. Well, if it's really true, then A.G. and I have way more in common than I'd have thought. Mafia, Yakuza, whatever. We both had our lives fucked by these people. <clears throat> All right, so... Where does Eiji go from there? After being let go from the post, he decided to take up a new cause. A non-profit organization, Leech Japan. Hey, Sean? No way! He threw in with those bastards? The Arakawa family had cost him everything. Yakuza abolitionists like Leech Japan must have seemed quite noble. Hardly difficult to see why he turned to them. <clears throat> Mitamura flourished within their network. Ryo Aoki quickly took notice of him, gave him leadership over the entire Tokyo metropolis. Hmm. Wasn't Kume the head of the Yokohama branch? That's some trick of fate, huh, Kasuga? Yeah. One thing, though. So if Eichan hates Yakuza as much as he seems to, why would he work with Ebina? Does he actually buy into the whole second dissolution story? That's about the only reason that makes sense, given what we're hearing. The guy's so desperate for payback on the Yakuza. He'll help another Yakuza take them down. Hold on. You really think so? Eiji's a true believer in the dissolution. Okay, maybe. But the things he's done? Helping the Mafia kidnap a little girl? I can't imagine crossing those lines for revenge. Well, maybe you're less alike than you think. Eichon will just have to give us answers himself. All right, on. So what's next? Ebi now recruits A.G., who takes Chitose's channel over? Uh, once a reporter, always a reporter? Or a gossipy VTuber, in this case. And now, the channel's practically Ebina's mouthpiece. Mitamura is likewise Ebina's proxy in Hawaii. Polycon's support strengthens him considerably. Lani is the key here. Without her, we fail. Kiryu-san's legacy... On a sacrifice, all will amount to nothing. Yeah, no shit, but we're still dead in the water over here. Oh, Shichan sent me a text! Whoa, what'd she say? It's just a picture. Looks like some kind of bar? She just took it. Think Shichan wants us to meet her there? Could that be where Eiji's hold up? Tell me, any chance you know this place? Please say you do. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, I got this. Shit, yeah! Kasuga-san, do you believe Lonnie's there as well? You better get there fast. Find out. Thanks, guys! Anawa-san, I hope your faith in them proves wise. Ichiban. Hold on. <laughs> 